In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to save your audience. This is really helpful if you're using similar audiences over and over again. It makes it so you can just simply click this use a save audience button, use a saved audience button, find your saved audience and go from there. So you see that like one of the ones I have is dance studio owners. So I would click on that and it would just it'd automatically populate with interest, dance studio owner, age, whatever. So let's go back. Uh, instead, I'll show you how to actually make that saved audience. So one thing you might wanna do is combine a bunch of custom audiences and I'll show you an example of what that would be. So I have dance studio customers, dance studio customers, my VIPs, and then let's see who else I got. I might wanna do something like my, my entire customer list from Volusion. And then what I could do is say, okay, well, I want everyone that's ever bought in from me. And on top of that, I want to add people who, I mean, I could do something like, like one of my competitors if I wanted to, it doesn't really matter. Um, for this specific one, what I'm gonna do is, let's go to browse. I'm gonna go to demographics, work, job titles and I'll type in dance teacher, just right there, perfect. And I'd go through and I'd add a bunch more as well. Add connection type, no, I'm not gonna deal with that right now. But then all I have to do is click save this audience and that is it. Oh, I'll change this audience name to test audience just to make it easy. So once that has been saved, you'll see use the, yeah, test audience right there. And that's it. And now something interesting, if you go into your all tools, audiences, refresh. There it is, the test audience. Uh, so if you have any questions about this, please leave a comment down below. Please like this video, subscribe, everything. And like I said, if you have any questions about Facebook ads, please let me know in the comments below. But this is a super handy thing that you can do. I, I use the same audience pretty much every time or I have a few variations of the same audience. So I recommend definitely saving your audiences when you spend a lot of time going through and trying to figure out the perfect people for it. So thank you for watching this video.